Bozy Ennis done a recent interview on that Culture Vulture YouTube channel. Mill Shitty Boxing YouTube channel. And he has some very interesting things to say about Terence Crawford and Israel Majimor fight. But guys, before I listen to what Bozy Ennis have to say, let me just say this. I don't know what's wrong with these black boxer and black trainer. Why they always run over to that Culture Vulture YouTube channel, Mill Shitty Boxing YouTube channel, to conduct interview. You don't see so that guy is using on a guy, using him to make money off of him, and at the same time, cause division between these brothers, cause problem, and hating on this brother at the same time, putting on a, a front. Mill Shitty Boxing YouTube channel, he don't care about none of you. Black dude that love to run on his channel, these trainers, these boxers, to go against each other. That's all he do over his channel. But guys, let's listen to what Bozy Ennis have, have to say about Terence Crawford and Israel Majimor fight. Later from Mill Shitty Boxing, that culture vulture. Let's check it out, guys. He was giving him angles and, you know, using the jab, giving him angles, turning him, you know what I mean? It was a good fight. Um... You know, moving up to 54, uh, any thoughts of wanting to challenge Majimov? Who? Uh, Boots. Oh, yeah, once we get up there, yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. What do you think about you and uh, Majimov and Boots? What do you, how, do, how does that look? Well, I see Boots stopping Majimov, man. Mm. That's yeah. a statement. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, a Boots is stopping Majimov. That's definitely a statement. I know that for a fact. Mm. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, love he was stopping. And also... All that stuff he was doing the way he's doing, coming in and doing all that, we got something for that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, we got something for that. You know what I mean? You see, one thing about it, Boots gonna fight you. You know what I mean? So all that, you know what I mean? You, so power punching, all that, we, 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 we gonna step to you when it's time to step to you. I like it, I like it. Yeah. It's the one. Shout out to Bozy Ennis and shout out to Boots Ennis. But guys, Bozy Ennis just saying all of those things to try to downplay Terrence Crawford. Terence Crawford greatness in that fight last Saturday. Boots and um, Bozy Ennis don't believe in what he's saying. Talking about Boots will stop Israel Majimor dude. I'm sure Boots Ennis don't punch other than a Terence Crawford. And he's talking about all those movements and herky jerky style. He have something for that. Really Boots? Really, really Bozy Ennis? What you have for that style? Because... If I'm not mistaken, the first time Boots Ennis fought someone that moved around a little bit, not even close to that awkward movement like that Israel Majimor dude, a guy that named Karen. And you know, Karen, Boots Ennis struggled against Karen. Boots Ennis didn't even know how to cut off the ring in that fight. And I like Boots Ennis. Don't think I'm shitting on Boots Ennis. But I'm just speaking the facts right here. I mean... Boots, I don't see Boots Ennis to beat that guy that Terence Crawford defeat last Saturday night. It takes someone like Terence Crawford to figure out that guy's style. And it takes Terence Crawford a while to figure it out. And Terence Crawford is the best boxer on the planet, hands down. Boots Ennis struggle against a dude named Karen. A dude that does regular move around in the ring. And Boots Ennis don't even know how to cut the ring off to pin him down. So you're telling me that Boots Ennis have something for that guy? Father Boots? Father Boots, you are telling me that your son have something for that guy that fought Terence Crawford last Saturday. I don't believe that. You're just saying that because you want to downplay Terence Crawford greatness, Terence Crawford performance. I don't believe that. I saw your son fight a couple months ago against that David Avermeijer guy. And that guy was landing some clean upper cut on your son. Even before your son knock him out, he, he land, I don't, I don't remember if it's a hook, it's a hook, it's a right hook or a left hook. But he land something clean on Boots Ennis. Before Boots Ennis knock him out. And that boy was piecing up Boots Ennis. So Bozy, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. That dude... Is a hard dude for every anyone. If Terence Crawford struggle against him, <laughs> come on, man. The real boxing fans know what time it is. 
boots boots don't boots don't ready as yet that's people saying that boots this and boots that i'm telling you that turkey guy over in those muslim country he, they're gonna make that fight i'm telling you they're gonna make the terence crawford versus boots fight because you know that irish fake mexican looking dude um canela alvarez he outpriced himself so the turkey said He's, he done with he done with Terence Crawford. He done with um Canelo Alvarez because he's not even a real Mexican. You understand me? And I don't even care if he want to be a real Mexican or whatever because I don't have with Mexican like that. You understand me? So I'm not gonna say whatever. Fuck them. But guys, back to that culture vulture. These black trainers and black fighters. That male shitty boxing using another guy to put in against each other. <coughs> wow, these people don't even see the play. These people don't even see the play. But guys, when another guy is going to see the play, it's going to be too late. You see how that culture vulture male shitty boxing use Ruguru progress and dump him aside when Devon Any beat him. You saw the use Shakira Stevenson. When Shaq was even seen used to come against Devon Haney, you saw that male shitty boxing used them. He just keep using the guy, putting the guys against each other. Bill Haney did, did say it. No? Bill Haney did say it. Um, Bill Haney did say, um, not, not that, yeah, the next culture vulture, because you have, two, you have a next one, you know. The one when he, um, Ellie set back. He, he's a next culture vulture. And Bill Haney call him out. But this one, he's the worst culture vulture out of all of them. But guys, I'm not buying what Boots and um, Bozy Ennis are saying, talking about um, Boots with knock out that dude. I don't see that happen. That dude is special. And guys, you know that I don't normally give non-black people credit. You know, you know what I get though. I don't normally give non-black people credit. It's hard for me to give a non-black people credit because I am biased. When it come on to those things. But that dude that fought Terence Crawford. He is well schooled. I mean. His educational pressure he put on you. His foot placement. The guy just in the right position. It's very hard to even. Um, counter punch a dude. I know Terence Crawford is a master of counter punch. Terence Crawford have a style when he in letter for a 3-4 punch. Quickly on you. And Terence Crawford couldn't do it with that guy. So you're telling me that Boots and is going to knock out that guy? Talking about you have something for that movement. And you didn't have anything for that Karen guys. And you know someone that named Karen is just all about yap, 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 yap. You know Karen is white woman that yap, 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 yap. And by somebody says, oh, boop. They back and they, they, they spread out screaming for and call the cops. That's all they're good for. So for a Karen guys. For, for a guy that named Karen. Boots and his struggle against Karen, a normal guy that move around normal in the ring. It is what it is, guys. Let me know what you think about this video down in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. Shout out to Boots. I'm not 89 Boots, but that's how I get though. It is what it is. Thanks for watching.